All right, let's get started, everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can accept some user input in C++. We're familiar with C out followed by the insertion operator, which is two left angle brackets. Well, to accept some input, we would type C in for character input, followed by the extraction operator, which is two right angle brackets. Here's a demonstration. Let's ask a user for their name. I'll create a string variable, standard string, the name will be, well, name. Then I'll create a prompt which will ask the user what their name is. Standard, output, insertion operator, what's your name? Then to accept some user input, we would type standard, cn for character input, extraction operator, then where would we like to store the user input? Let's store it within our variable name. At the end of our program, let's display what the user's name is. Standard output, insertion operator, hello, name. Okay, we're gonna have one problem though. If we're using VS Code as our text editor, we need to begin using the terminal tab. Previously, we've been using output. So I can't actually type in anything to this because it's well for output. If you're using VS Code, this is what we'll need to do. If you're not, you can skip this step. We're going to go to File, Preferences, Settings, Look Up Code Runner. Then we are looking for Run in Terminal, which is right about here. Check that. Close this tab. Let's stop this from running, and we'll run it again. Okay, here we go. What's your name? I'll type in my first name. Hit Enter. Hello, bro, or whatever your first name was. This time, let's ask a user for what their age is. I'll store this within a variable named age. Int age. Standard output. What's your age? Standard input. Extraction operator. Age. Standard output. Insertion operator. You are age years old. And I think we'll need some new line characters right about here, just one. Okay, this should work, let's try it. What's your name? I'll type in my first name, hit enter. What's your age? I'll make up an age. I like to think that I'm 21 still, hit enter. Hello bro, you are 21 years old. So that's how to accept some user input. You can use CN for character input, uh, but there's just one problem though. If you type in a string that has spaces, well, once we hit a space, we stop reading that string. This time, let's ask a user to type in their full name. Okay, type in your first name and your last name. Hit enter. What's your full name, bro code? What's your age? Hello bro, you are zero years old. If we need to read a string that could contain spaces, there's a function that we can use to help us with that. That is the get line function. Standard get line, add a set of parentheses. Within the parentheses, we will type standard C in, then comma our variable name. Now we should be able to type in a string including any spaces. What's your full name? Type in your own first name and last name. Hit enter. What's your age? I'll type in 21. Hello, bro code, you are 21 years old. If you need to accept a string that includes any white spaces, you're better off using the get line function. And if you forget, I'll post this in the comments section so you can always take a look at it if you don't remember. Okay, there's just one issue with this though. I'm going to move the second question above the first. Let's take a look to see what happens. What's your age? 21. What's your full name? Hello. You are 21 years old. Here's the issue. If we accept some user input with CN followed by get line, well, in our input buffer, there's a new line character, and we don't pick up that new line character. When we reach the get line function, it accepts the new line character that's still within the buffer. So to prevent that from happening, there's one change that we can make to the get line function. After CN, add this. Extraction operator, standard, WS for any white spaces. This portion will eliminate any new line characters or any white spaces before any user input. So let's try this again. What's your age? I'll type in 21. Type in your full name. 
And there we go. Hello, bro code, you are 21 years old. So yeah, everybody, that's how to accept some user input. Basically, you can just use CN, followed by the extraction operator. But if you need a string that could include spaces, I recommend using the getLine function. So yeah, that's how to accept some user input in C++. If you would like a copy of all this code, I'll post this in the comments section down below. And well, yeah, that's how to accept some user input in C++.